there mother fudgers welcome to mark shrimp tanks in today's video we are going to be stealing an idea i'm going to steal someone's idea off of one of their videos that is so oh i might be going to hell with this one guys but yeah let's get on with this we're going to build something because uh, yeah this this idea was amazing right so i've stolen it and i'm going to show you how to make it in this video today and i'll give the person credit then right so stay to the very end so you can see who it was and yeah let's get on with it Woo! Alright Shrimplets, before we continue, we're going to need a few things, right? so we're going to basically make a little thing that holds a lot of moss, you'll see it in a minute, I'll put some examples of it on the screen now because it's absolutely gorgeous once it grows in, it doesn't look too attractive in the beginning but yeah as I said once it grows in it's looking, it looks fantastically beautiful, right, so we're going to need a tray, this is more or less just to catch all your drips and makes the video look a little bit when it's on kind of like a white background so the tray can go here. We are going to need some barbecue sticks or skewers. I have some here somewhere. I do, I have a lot of them. And we're going to need some suckers, right? Because this stuff is going to be stuck to the glass, right? So I do have a package of suckers here somewhere. Yeah, I do, I do. Like this. And yeah, you can buy these from AliExpress, Amazon, loads of different places. I won't leave a link because there's that many of them available. But uh, this is a really good way to add moss to your tank, right? so you'll need some of these. And of course you'll need some thread. But where is my thread? Where are you mother effer? I don't know where I put it last. It's right there, it was outside the box, that's why I didn't see it. Right? So we have a big spool of thread here and we're going to attach the moss to the stick with this. Right? Guys, trust me, it'll look gorgeous. Right, let's uh, think about getting some moss. I have some excess moss over there. And uh, let's do this. All right, shrimplets, I'm actually just going to prepare these first. I think we'll try and do at least two on here because, uh, yeah, they're quite nice once we get them going. So all you need is a couple of barbecue skewers like this. And it's just your generic type. I think these might be made from bamboo, actually. You can see it? Bamboo. So they're good for the, an aquarium. And they're quite long, right? It's up to you if you want to take off the end here, but I feel that you don't need to write and these are really good because the moss actually grows and sticks onto these as well so you're going to need a couple of these suction cups like so very easy to get make sure they're clean right and guys what we're going to do is we're going to put a hole through this edge here right and this is where our barbecue skewer will go one second guys i need to find my hole maker now like this right just a little screwdriver and guys, when you're doing this, you want to try and make sure that it goes through kind of evenly, right? If it, if it doesn't go through evenly, what's going to happen is your barbecue skewer will be uneven. Right? So just push it through once. Right? Before you push it all the way through, right? make sure that it's level and even. Right? Before you push it through, right? just make sure you don't stick this into your hand as well. Like so, right? So I would say that one is pretty even. All right, let's do the next one because we're going to do two of these guys i probably could fill my tanks with these they're so nice once they're made like this again make sure that it's level because the first few ones i made of these they weren't level and it doesn't look that great right? so you see this one's quite level as well right and then you take your point and you stick it through the little hole like this Right, you want to stick it roughly where the middle is here. Oh, yo, yo, Istanam. Yep, I'm speaking Hungarian. There you go. Right, so you want it on like this. Let's do the next one. Find your wee hole. Stick it in. Try not to gouge your finger out. Let's push it through. Right, you want to roughly get it near the middle. Before when I was doing these, I was using a tape measure to make sure they were perfect, but yeah, it's not really needed. Once the moss grows in, they look very, very nice. Right? So there is the structure that you're going to tie your moss to. Okay, so let's grab our moss and we'll actually cut it off first and then we can talk about how we're going to attach it because this is really easy. All right, guys, here is our moss. This is one of the ones that I made a while ago and you can see how much it's grown in, right? So it wants to grow up the way this stuff. So this is uh, the way it looks right, so let's uh, cut some of this off as quick as we can because I'm going to put this straight back into the tank. And there's plenty here guys for 
probably about five or six of these things here. Let's get more of this off. Like so. Let me quickly just make sure there's no snails and stuff here because yeah, I don't want to squash the snails. Let's put this back into the tank. What we're going to do here is we're going to make tree rice. So we want to at least split this in half. We're going to be very generous with our helpings. This is going to be one side. You'll see. It's going to look fantastic. You can kind of see the idea already. Basically, we're going to tie this to that, right? And you don't really need an awful lot of moss to start with. We snail, let me put you into the tank over here. And what you want to do, guys, is you want to get some thread. Like, what I like to do is I like to get a good meter off, at least. And the meter is overkill. You're going to cut it. And what you're going to do, right, is you're going to start your winding onto your little barbecue skewer here, right? So you want to start with the, this bit here, go into the middle, this bit like this, right? You'll see why at the end, because this is what we're going to tie together, our final bit of uh, knot, uh, you will see, you will see. You want to go forward a little bit here, and then you want to go back on yourself, right? So, you see, you want to go forward, and then you want to go back on yourself just enough so that it, it catches, you'll see, like this, look. So it catches, right? So when we put moss on here now, it's going to stick on here. Let's grab half of this, our first half, our first little half batch of moss. And we're going to wind it on. Alright, we're going to wind it on and I'm just going to go along like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get bazillions of coverage either. But the better you do this, the nicer it will look eventually. But you saw that one that I brought out of the tank there, it looked very nice and it wasn't done particularly well. I think it was probably one of the very first ones that I ever did. So you want to get back to the middle here and you're going to cross like that. See how we've left a tiny piece of thread just in the middle here. This little bit. This is what we're going to tie the next bit to, right? So this is already on here. Let's grab our moss. Try and make it so it's kind of evenly spread out. And we're going to stick it on like this. There probably is an easier way to do this where the moss is just on perfect, but I actually thought about using a drill for doing this, guys, before. <laughs> it would have been, it probably would have worked with the drill, but this, if you kind of hang it a little bit like this and you go down at the same time, it kind of wants to spiral around the bar barbecue the bamboo barbecue skewer type thing in my jig. You see if there's any little bits left over here. We'll put this on the end. And you're going to go like this, just quick and easy. And then you're going to go back because we need to get back to this middle bit. And as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Because once it all grows in, you'll never see all your handiwork with the thread. You'll never see it right. So remember we said in the beginning, leave a little bit overlapping like this. Well, this bit's a tiny bit short, but it should be long enough for us to tie a couple of overhand knots. And this is what's going to secure our thread, right? So I like to go through twice like this and tie once, right? And then we're going to do it again. I'll just put it down because it's very hard for me to lift it up and show you guys on camera at the same time. Like this, a wee knot. And the more you do this, guys, the better it is that you'll be at doing it, right? So here is the basic of our knot here. I'm going to tie this and this is all you need. One single knot like that, right? And this will all stay on. You see? This is enough to hold it all on. Like so. Right? so you just want to cut that thread. And when you put this onto the glass, guys, just make sure that this is wet. Obviously, it will be when it's the water, but just make sure that the glass is clean on the inside as well or this won't stick properly. Okay, so there's the first one. Let's do quickly do a second one. Is, is it going to stick? Uh, it doesn't want to stick, it's just going to pop back up again. You see how much excess I have, but it's always better to have that tiny little bit extra, guys, for doing this because it can be kind of hard and fiddly to mess around with like tiny bits of thread right at the very end. And as I said, I like to do this a couple of times, the knot itself, because it just holds better if you do it a couple of times first, like this, like this, see? And then the second time you do it, it holds really snug. Right, now, as we said in the beginning, it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, once this moss grows, 
it will stick to the barbecue skewer itself as well. So this is how you grow moss on a wall. I'm going to show you some of these in my tanks as well because yeah, they grow really, really well once they start to get going. You're talking um, in a good tank with decent fertilizer, just so you have something like an ADA. So they start growing probably within a week, you should notice the difference in them. So there you have, we've done two. Let's add them to the tank and we'll see what they look like. This is one of my new tanks that I don't have any shrimp in it yet, but I thought we'd add some of the stuff from the back here. You just want to put it about midway down, like this, in a nice place and press it against the glass. Sometimes these suckers come off, you just have to put it back on, make sure you get anything that's behind the sucker off and they should be good to go, right? Let me show you what they look like when they start to grow a little bit. This is a newer one that I did probably like two weeks ago. And they grow very, very nice, guys. I'm going to lift the camera up and I'm going to show you one over here that I did probably about two weeks ago as well. And yeah, they just help to fill the tank a lot. I have them in different variations in all my tank. This was a ball one I did. This was on a stick. This one is absolutely gorgeous and it's also on a stick. And let's see, do I have them in any other ones? Yeah, I should add the other one to this tank. There's one there, and there's one there, right? So there is how you make these bamboo skewer, java moss sticks, or any kind of moss you like. And yeah, the guy, if you're wondering who I stole the idea from, was called Cry Mushroom. Go and check out his channel.